and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Our destination today is a place called the Candy Basket Norman, and I can promise you before I leave here, I'll have my money out and I'll be buying a lot of their product because it's all so good. We'll have to help him get out to the car with all of his stuff. <laughs> this is a perfect place to come and shop for some unique Valentine's Day treats. They're located on Main Street in Norman at the Carriage Plaza Shopping Center. And the shop is stocked with gourmet candy and popcorn and we'll show you around a little bit later in the show. But first we want to take you to another amazing place mm -hmm. in southeastern Oklahoma. It's called the Endangered Ark Foundation and Elephant Sanctuary in Hugo. The Endangered Art Foundation is a unique facility, no other place like it in the United States that I'm aware of. Arlinda Copeland adds, it's here you can have a fun personal encounter with an Asian elephant, look them in the eye and fall in love. The residents here at one time performed for the circus and now this is their retirement community. It's our assisted living, if you will, as we get older, but for our elephants, it's their family, it's where they're familiar with, they've always lived here. Um, but for those who have retired, as well as our new babies that, we're, we grow, that we've been successful in birthing, um, they will live here throughout the rest of their life. And what a comfortable life it is. Keep in mind, this is home to the second largest endangered Asian elephant herd in North America. Now these elephants are well taken care of. They are bathed regularly. They get pedicures, so to speak. Why? Well, here's one thing I learned about doing this story. You have to maintain the elephant's foot health. Has the leading cause of death for elephants in their natural environment <laughs> is foot maladies, which can cause because they don't obviously have high quality care like we provide here at the Endangered Art Foundation. There's elephant yoga and physical therapy. Some of the elephants actually have joint issues. Right. So basically we do these to create, increase their range of movement uh, and lack and muscle activity. As our elephants get older, each have different needs, as we do as people, so we try to address each one of those specifically, whatever the needs are of the elephant or some of their preferences. We have some that play in the sand, some like the, play in the creek, some um, prefer watermelon over cantaloupe. Um, we, all, we know each of their personalities because they're as different and unique as ours. The Endangered Ark Foundation appreciates everyone's support, but there's so much more to be done. You can tour here from March through the end of October, but they do accommodate private tours as well as special groups if you give them a call. One of the most common uh, remarks that we have from some of our young children that encounter and have a, an experience for the first time with our elephants is they ask their parents if they can take one home. So as much as we would love to oblige that, that's, that's not an option, but we do welcome to come back as many times as they like to, to visit their favorite elephant. Armando has worked here since 2000. He says not only is it amazing to work with the elephants, watching the kids is an extra bonus. Let me tell you, just the look on their faces, um, the first thing when they're driving, it's like excitement. It's almost like Christmas seeing Santa Claus a lot of times. And Barbara Bird, chairperson of the board and daughter of the founders of the Endangered Ark Elephant Sanctuary, says everyone has worked so hard over the years to make this a one-of-a-kind place, a place that would make her dad very proud. Oh, that makes, brings chills to me because that's exactly what we want. We want them to be proud of us and the community to be proud of us and, and for us to take great pride in what we have here, and we do. There are so many fun things to see and learn when so. you visit here. Basically, they can pick up something as small as a grain of rice and something as large as a bowling ball or a watermelon and put it in their mouth if they were so desired. And you can take an Elfie selfie before you leave. Right now, tours are scheduled at 10 a.m. on Saturdays. You do need to reserve a spot. And keep in mind, if the weather is bad, they may not be open. You'll find more information at their website, endangeredarkfoundation.org. And now from one amazing outdoor spot in our state to a trip inside one of our state's greatest museums. The Museum of the Great Plains is one of the jewels of Lawton and today Lauren Ferrum is going to take us back to her hometown and tell us what's new. The Museum of the Great Plains in Lawton, Oklahoma opened in 1961, but in the last 10 months the museum has seen a lot of exciting changes. We were able to bring exhibits to the museum that are more inquiry based 
that offer discovery, exploration type of, uh, of exhibits. John Hernandez has been the executive director of the museum since 2001 and has overseen the additions and changes made to the museum and says they've had a big impact on the museum experience. Well, we've had children come into the museum. We've had a lot more laughter in here. Our attendance is far, uh, as far as people coming into the museum and leaving, We've, instead of spending an hour here, they spent several hours. The museum is full of hands-on, experiential exhibits for kids of all ages. In the entry gallery, kids can investigate a huge map of the Great Plains and experiment with the turbine exhibit. Our turbine exhibit allows them to try to design a turbine that will, a, a windmill, that will generate the maximum amount of power. The Tornado Theater is a popular stop for museum goers as well. Probably our more, most popular exhibit uh, is not really, it's, it's more immersive than anything else is our Tornado Theater. The tornado in 79 that hit Wichita Falls, Texas. That by far is probably the very most popular one with the children. As you enter the main gallery, there is a bevy of hands-on exhibits and role-playing opportunities for kids to experience. Our uh, Take Apart Bison is popular in the sense that the children can take apart the bison and locate what part they have of the bison and then they realize what that, what that uh, certain organ was used for. Our printing press is really good because they uh, teaches them how to set up a, a typeset and be able to print their names. Our dig site is very realistic and it allows children to actually dig in what really looks like dirt because we wanted to have a real life experience. We didn't want them to shift just to move around sand. So they have a very lifelike experience. After you explore at the dig site, you can take pieces of a broken clay pot and reassemble it to look like the original piece of pottery found in a real dig site. Then you can head over to the general store to experience what shopping was like on the plains of Oklahoma. General store by far is very popular as far as role playing is concerned. They're given a, a, a list of foods that they need to purchase. They're, get, they're given money. And by doing so, they have to uh, add and subtract, uh, they can cut uh, bolts of cloth. So there's measurements, there's mathematics in there. The Museum of the Great Plains offers fun, educational exhibits for kids of all ages. A great place to discover more about our state and the Great Plains region. Come by and, and see us, give us a chance. I think you'll be very pleased. Discovering Oklahoma, I'm Lauren Farum. The Museum of the Great Plains is open 10 to 5 Monday through Saturday, 1 to 5 on Sunday. They do offer group rates. Admission starts at $8 for kids and is $10 for adults. Senior citizens and military members are offered a discount rate. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. The sliced beef is in the ribs are the best. I mean, they're so tender. Some of the best barbecue in southern Oklahoma. We'll check it out for you. We really try to go all out to make each kid feel really special. And where to go to put your little ones in the spotlight while you have a good time too. And it's fabulous, it's really a good meatloaf. And the mashed potato, everything's delicious. The one pit stop you gotta make if you're headed down the famed Talamina Drive. We'll check it out when Discover Oklahoma continues. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oklahoma's new 2016 Outdoor Guide is full of the state's most spectacular activities and destinations. And when you use our new mobile app, some of the pages spring to life. So find your Oklahoma state of mind. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com today. Welcome back. We're coming to you from the Candy Basket in Norman, and we are just drooling <laughs> for all the great treats they have in here. You may be drooling. I'm actually eating. Yeah. This yeah, is called Windy both. City mm -hmm. Popcorn Mix. It's really, really good. Really good. You know, but there is something else that I know can make my mouth water, and that's some good old-fashioned Oklahoma barbecue. Mm. With that in mind, Tina McGarry is going to take us to Durant to Main Street Barbecue, so go check it out. Sweet, smoky, tender and full of flavor. Main Street Barbecue in Durant is known for its mouth-watering menu. The sliced beef is in the ribs are the best. I mean, they're so tender. We use a St. Louis style rib. It's got a lot better meat content to it. Uh, you're not sitting there trying to find a bite on a rib. You're, you're getting a lot of meat on your ribs. I convince a lot of people that don't like ribs that they do like ribs. they just been eating them at the wrong place. Thomas Montgomery started cooking at age 14. After years working in restaurants, he decided it was time to have his own. He opened Main Street Barbecue in 2009. The fast pace, the challenge, 
I mean, it's, it's not something everybody can go cook bar good barbecue. You know, it's, it's an art, it's not a science. We use pecan wood. It's easier to train people how to do it. And uh, you, you don't get the over smoke like you do out of hickory. Hickory is real easy to give everybody in the building indigestion. You know, same thing goes with mesquite. You get too much smoke on it, gives you heartburn and indigestion from it. Where pecan's a real soft smoke and it gives it a sweet flavor. Woohoo! Let's eat! So, what's good here? We asked barbecue specialist and cook Jaron Cherry for his recommendation. Oh, the ribs, because they're great. <laughs> Um, you know, the way we season them, like I said, the way we cook them. Um, the brisket. Um, the chicken. The turkey. <laughs> I can't think of what you should try. So we tried everything. The spicy fried green beans, loads of delicious sides and fixins, and a variety of slow smoked meats. You won't be disappointed. The food here is always fresh and Fantastic. Our ribs are, you know, they come off at 10 o'clock in the morning, they come off at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the brisket comes off 10 o'clock in the morning and it's usually gone by 8, 9 o'clock at night. We're told a lunch crowd here can put down about 50 racks of ribs and up to 20 briskets. In Durant, it's good, come on down. <laughs> I'm Tina McGarry, discovering Oklahoma. If you're looking for unique places to eat in Oklahoma, head over to our website, travelok.com, and click on where it says dining. You'll find a list of restaurants for almost every Oklahoma city or town. Next on Discover Oklahoma. We'll always get caught, but still, it's just a lot of fun running around and hiding. A great spot for good times with the family. We're finding fun in Tulsa. People come from everywhere just for the chicken fried steak. Plus, down home cooking worth the drive. Where to get it along the side of some hateful humor still ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. It's mind boggling to go through the history of, of music and, and the connection to Oklahoma. Oklahoma's Rhythm and Roots website is shaking the walls with legendary talent, iconic venues, and vocals from the heartland. Full of photos, videos, music, trivia, and itineraries, Rhythm and Roots transforms Oklahoma's rich music legacy into a bucket list of travel opportunities. Tune in to OklahomaMusicTrail.com and start your journey today. This segment is brought to you by Life Share of Oklahoma, encouraging everyone to register as an organ, eye, and tissue donor today. Visit LifeShareOK.org. Welcome back. We're coming to you this week from the Candy Basket in Norman, an entire shop full of fun, great, delicious things to eat. It's very good. <laughs> yes, it's and we have a show to do, so we'll continue. Yeah. But if you're also looking for another kind of indoor activity, especially during the winter months, here's what you need to do. You need to go to Tulsa. There's a place that is serving not only good food, mm -hmm. but a great time. Julie Chen takes us to Andy B's. Andy B's is the perfect place for kids. <laughs> and kids at heart with a little spare time. We're an entertainment center for all ages. Um, we've got like go-karts, laser tag, we have an arcade, a restaurant, a full service bar, as well as regular bowling and glow bowling. It's the best hangout and it's safe. Lots of stuff to do and it's good for your family. The entertainment center took over the historic River Lanes in 2008, expanding and upgrading it. We have 32 traditional lanes, which are the lanes behind me. And then we have 16 VIB lanes, which are glow bowling. And it's couch seating with HD monitors with music videos. Um, it's just a more upscale side. You'll even find a luxury suite here and large private birthday room too. We really try to go all out to make each kid feel really special. And Andy B's has lots of ways to do just that. It's home to a full laser tag arena. We'll always get caught, but still, it's just a lot of fun running around and hiding. There's also an arcade, a buzz with more than 50 games, including Tulsa's first Juke and Box. It's part laser tag, part dance revolution, and completely exhausting. Give me a high five. Good job. What'd you think? Was that fun? Are you winded? I'm winded. Are you tired? Yeah. Good job. Thanks, guys. If you're more full throttle, Andy B's go-karts may be more your speed. 
It's a huge track um, and they've got curves throughout. We also have it set up where you can do two seater cars so you can take the kids with you as well. Having this much fun can make you hungry. And Andy Bees is all about satisfying customers and their appetites. We do have a restaurant. Um, it's pretty expansive. You can get anything from a pizza to a salad or a wrap, um, sandwiches, burgers, really a pretty large variety of food. The food's really good, good pricing. What's your favorite thing to eat here? The cheeseburger. I like the cheeseburgers. Andy Bees, if you're looking for great family fun, this place is right up your alley. Come out and see us at Andy Bees, where it's bowling as it should be. Andy Bees is open seven days a week and they have a money saving special each and every day. For details, check out their website or their Facebook page. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. If you're ready to live on Tulsa time for a little while, you need a copy of the new Tulsa Guide. We're happy to send you one. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click where it says Request Free Brochures. Up next, we head to Tallahena to Pam's Hateful Hussy Diner. We'll meet the hateful hussy herself. She can be pretty mean, but she's not, she's not that way all the time. <laughs> as long as you don't cross her, you know. Oklahoma's new 2016 Travel Guide is your ticket to the state's most exciting places, attractions, and activities. Loaded with great ideas from cover to cover. Don't wait to order. Get your free 2016 Oklahoma Travel Guide online at TravelOK.com today. Now that cold weather is in full swing, don't trade outdoor recreation for winter hibernation. Discover the off-season treasures available at Oklahoma's great state parks. This February, take advantage of 15% off a lodge or cabin stay with our sweetheart deals. Complete with cozy evenings, crackling fires, and misty mornings, make some memories at an Oklahoma State Park. Visit TravelOK.com slash SPDeals for special offers and come see for yourself. Welcome back, coming to you from the Candy Basket in Norman this week. Now the town of Tallahena is really the gateway to the Talamina Scenic Drive which goes through the heart of the Winding Stair Mountains. But to those who love good old fashioned stick to your ribs home cooking, there is another star in town, Pam's Hateful Hussy Diner. Now with a name like that, you knew we had to check it out. Meet Pam, the eponymous hussy of our tale. Is she truly hateful? We decide to interrogate her morning coffee club. At 85, John Emmert is dean of the group. She can be pretty mean, but she's not that way all the time. <laughs> Rusty Barron, who appears to be the coffee club cut-up, is a purveyor of the myth of the hateful hussy. There was people taking a picture out here the other day, and I said, y'all get to talk to the hateful hussy? And they said, no, them waitresses were real nice. And I said, y'all didn't talk to her then. <laughs> She's standing there listening, ain't she? Yeah. Right behind you. Yeah, I done told her that story. In fact, his hair stood up, see? <laughs> Turns out it was, in fact, the coffee club that awarded Pam her now famous title. I was really busy, and one of the coffee drinkers asked for coffee. And I said, you've been coming in here long enough. You know where the coffee is. Get it yourself. And so he goes, well, you old hateful hussy. And so it's like... Okay, the lights went off and that's the way it started. <laughs> the truth is, Pam is beloved to her regulars, who say Tallahena couldn't survive without her. Most of this country would starve plum to death. <laughs> Tony jokes that Pam's cooking may in fact be too good. I'm when he was in man, school, he was about to, it's my A lot of these folks head to Pam's first thing of a morning. Every day for breakfast. Coffee's great. And we most usually get eggs or biscuits or toast, and it's always really good. People come from everywhere just for the chicken fried steak. So it is a 8 to 10 ounce uh, cube steak, and we bread it ourselves and cook it. And we, you can have a choice of your potatoes. That's our main one with our mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And this is our famous, what we call, the hateful hussy. It is a grilled chicken breast on a Kaiser roll with honey mustard and pepper jack cheese and bacon. Customers online rave about the Indian tacos at the Hateful Hussy Diner, which they say have the best fry bread ever. But don't try to pry this secret out of pan. It's just all in the technique. It's just the, uh, I put a little words, different. you're not gonna tell us. You're right. <laughs> I put a little different things in it, what some people do, so 
That's just the way it is. The bone-in pork chops are the second best seller along with Pam's daily specials like today's meatloaf which comes with veggies and dessert which in this case is homemade chocolate cake. And it's fabulous. It's really a good meatloaf. And the mashed potato, everything's delicious. The rolls are wonderful. This has got kind of a, a barbecue type sauce on it and it really makes, brings the flavor out of it. It's very good. I'm a meatloaf fan myself, but I have to agree, Pam's is really good. And I'd sure like to slide in sometime and try her other daily specials. I, I like Pam's homemade stew. Every time they make it, I tell them in the morning to save me a bowl of it for, for that evening when I come in here to eat. They save me a bowl of homemade stew every, every time. Oh, chicken and dressing on Sunday that she has dressed. She makes the best dressing in the country. Have fish, everything you eat Friday. Saturday have a breakfast buffet, and then Sundays they have a dinner buffet. But I eat a lot here. What's your favorite? What's the, your favorite thing? Here, catfish. And the and and the and the people that's around here. <laughs> Say I answered right on that. Night. <laughs> You can't miss Pam's Hateful Hussy Diner. It's right there on the main drag in Tallahena. Open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. A big thanks to the folks here at the Candy Basket for hosting us this week. And hint, hint, Valentine's Day is coming up. And the hot seller is the Sour Petite Heart. They ordered 350 pounds of these. But don't wait too long. Because, you know, if you wait too long to get ready for Valentine's, everything's, the good stuff's gone. It'll be gone. Right. The Candy Basket is on Main Street in Norman in the Carriage Plaza. You'll find them open from 10 to 6, except on Sundays. You can find all sorts of unique candy here, as well as some really incredible gourmet popcorn. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, some of the best burgers in southwest Oklahoma. Get ready for a mouth-watering look at a meal that's worth the drive. And checking out the Art Deco scene in Tulsa, we'll show you the next museum you and your friends will need to check out. That's coming up next Saturday night right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Our intrepid Ford Explorer is provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.